Right guys, so, like I said, we are going through, um, Gugger's, Gugger Lunum, I think, I haven't got his name on the screen, um, Gugger Lunum's videos, uh, we've done a Avengers one, um, we're gonna go a bit different, we're gonna go do a James Bond. I'm uh, going to go and do a James Bond one, so uh, let's check this out, shall we? You have no authority. None. Mexico City. What were you doing there? I was taking some out of you holiday. <laughs> This is so cool. Zero to sixty in three point two seconds. A few little tricks up the sleeve. Do one more thing for me. What do you have in mind? Let me disappear. Tell me where he is. He's everywhere. You should go there. You're crossing over to a place where there is no mercy. been a little time in there where I kind of had a blank look on my face mainly it's because I was thinking of what I could do with these reactions of this guy what I was thinking because I might as well tell you now because I, if I've decided to do it you would have already seen the reaction so you'd have known the idea but what I was thinking was with I'll start off with this guy see how it goes, see how it works and then maybe with others um, I'll react to the um, the video I'm watching which is down here and then have the actual trailer that is done off it up here maybe slightly smaller but so you can see comparing the two together but the one I'll be reacting to is be the bottom um, or whichever the title of the video is um, but on the video terms once again very well done mate I am a very good big kind of ish James Bond fan I watch the films and I enjoy them I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan I don't I follow it like film by film but I don't follow it like a religion so um, I am looking forward to the next one though because I think it's Daniel Craig's final James Bond film 
Um, so it's going to be interesting to how they're going to end it. Because obviously they can just bring back an, another character and um, do another story. So, it's not really... There will come a time, because at the moment, some of these James Bond films, they are... They're remakes of previous. And there will come a time where I and other people of my age are about 50, 60 years old. And we're watching a recreation with the current technology of that time. Um, recreations of films that we watched at this age that we're at right now. Which is a bit weird because it's going to, we are literally going to be like, I remember sitting down and watching this in the theatre and then our grandchildren or great grandchildren, depending on how old we live, um, they were, they're probably going to be like, what's a movie theatre? Because I'm there's probably going to be some crazy thing that's been invented and is a standard thing for that time and we're going to sound really old saying like computers and phones, TVs, that's going to just be your old fart kind of talk. Um, but very, very well done put together. Um, I wasn't able to give an actual reaction between the two, like the recreation and the original, because I wasn't watching the original. So, going by how it looks, it looked like it would be pretty much, I mean, considering what you've got to work with, I think it would would have been pretty much identical. I also like how you used the characters from Halo in the relations that they are. See, I haven't played, OD, I've played ODST, but I've only ever played it once. You've got Bucky and then the woman, I'm not sure what her name is. I don't know why, but I think, I want to say Liz, I don't think it is Liz, but we'll call, we'll call her Liz, just for this example. See, so you got Bucky, or Buck, Bucky is Marvel, Buck, and Liz. Them two are, they have a thing in the games anyway, so the cinematics of them two are going to be together, they're going to be realistic, because they are a mm. in the games. So using him as Bond and then the woman as the woman in James Bond makes sense because in the films Bond and the woman they have a thing going on. In the game Buck and the woman have a thing going on. So it works pretty well. Um, at the moment of recording this, I do have a um, well you would have already seen it, it's a oh hang on, I've got it on the screen because it's saving at the moment, what, what did I name it? Someone sent us this from America, unboxing by the time this is out, that would have already been out um, so but yeah that's coming out So. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, but, as per usual guys, guys, link will be in the description along with the original video. Go subscribe because this man knows what he's doing when it comes to um, crossovers and styles and tributes and all sorts. He knows what he's doing. If you're a Halo fan, you're going to love it. If you're any other kind of film, if you're just a genuine film fan, you're going to love it. And if you are a Halo and film fan, it is going to be your dream. Anyway guys, hopefully you all enjoyed that. I sure as hell did because it was a heck of a lot of fun um, watching that. And I really do look forward to the, um, to the uh, other ones that I'm going to be watching along with any future videos that this guy sets out. So please leave a like on his videos and comment. Um, if you haven't seen them before and you're watching this, then go watch the original video of this. Go say Crossover Legends sent me here. So, and while you're over there, go and subscribe because he's 
like I said, he knows what he's doing. So comment, like, subscribe, times two, and peace.